Hi guys, welcome back to the automation point. So this session agenda is download iDriver, snippet to launch Internet Explorer, illegal statement extraction, and make browser configuration system independent. These four, all the steps are similar what we have seen it for the Chrome browser and Firefox browser. So let's start to download uh, iBrowser. So to download the iBrowser, just once again, you need to go on the um, Selenium official site. So type here, Selenium download, click this one. So the first link is the upper Selenium, um, yeah, Selenium official site links. So go, this is the Selenium official site page, official page and we have the download tab. So for the Chrome and Firefox browser, we have downloaded from here. But if you want to download the Internet Explorer, it has provided separately one section on this page. So from here, you can download the Internet Explorer uh, driver for 32-bit window, window 32-bit system or window 64-bit system. So if were, my system is window 64-bit, so I will click on 64-bit. Download is, has just started. So yeah, so already the zip file is downloaded. So just we need to go or unzip it and take the uh, i driver exe. <coughs> so let's go come to write the uh, script uh, code to launch the i browser <laughs> okay so to, first of all we will create one java class so go here the package and write run selenium in uh, i and take the main method and click on finish button okay so now we have the java class with main method here like we just we need to set the system properties so to set the system properties we will take system dot set property and provide the argument here so just i will copy this one from my already existing script so take it and paste here this parameter webdriver dot i driver. And now so here you need to pass the path of the i driver. Okay. So already this is existing uh, on my systems. So we have downloaded and extracted it. So uh, I will use this one exe already downloaded exe. So copy this path and provide this path here again and you need to copy the name of i driver so rename it and copy it go here and pass it dot exe right so and again we need to pass the double set slash okay yeah and terminate this line the semicolon to terminate the line now the, we have set the path of the exe so now go and initiate the i driver so to initiate the i driver we will create the reference variable of i drivers so to create the reference variable wave driver driver is the name of the reference variable equal to new and internet and you can take internet explorer driver and terminate this line again by semi so just we need to import the package yeah. so i have imported and this now it's okay so just after this we will launch try to launch the um, facebook in open internet explorer 
open the fix book take this driver variable driver dot uh, gate okay and pass the name li url of facebook from here copy and just paste in this url as a string of this get method and we can terminate so this line of the code will launch the uh, internet uh, explorer on our system in uh, this system and will open the facebook browser application uh, on that internet explorer so let's run this script yeah so let's run this script as a java application and you can see it's, it has launched the internet explorer and it has opened the facebook in that internet so next point of agenda today agenda is illegal statement exceptions as i described in in, in uh, during the firefox and uh, chrome sessions that illegal line statement com comes if you provide this any of these all two argument wrongly so let's try it put here yes it is the wrong name of this uh, uh, driver so if after that if you are going to run this it will throw illegal statement state exception okay so this is the illegal state exceptions okay it is important for the interview guys so take care of well, like that silly questions interviewer usually ask like that question and so what is the illegal statements when you got the illegal statements so now next point is um, <coughs> make browser configuration system independent right now what we are doing we are giving the complete absolute path of the this exe web driver okay so if you import this project on another system and you are going to run that system before running that script you need to provide change this absolute path according to the that system uh, exe location okay so how we will we do not without changing this uh, all things uh, we can import this project on another pro, uh, system and we can run the script to do so just guide you need to change over here so give system dot get property okay this get properties and pass the argument here as a string user dot dir okay and add the remaining path so here this this system dot gate property uh, with argument user dot dir will provide the path up to the this folder okay now we are going to keep upper our i drive this i driver inside this driver folder so take this copy this i driver and put it inside this driver okay over here and just you need to add here at the remaining path so the remaining path is uh, just we need to pass here the name of the driver means that i uh, driver server okay so now we have given the exact path now what you can do just you can import this uh, project in any devices and without any changes you can run this script so let's check it is running or not go here and java application so yeah it's working yeah thank you so now it's working okay guys so i have done with today agenda thank you thank you so much guys uh, for watching this video, video subscribe automation point channel to keep getting uh, uh, automation updates okay thank you once again guys